<laughs> there you go guys, a River Lee perch. I haven't had one of them for a very long time. Only a tiddler, but I'm well happy with that. Afternoon guys, end of the budget angler here, just out on um, the, uh, the old, the old favourite. I'm out on the Lee. I haven't been out here for ages to do a video, so I've a bit, it's an after work session, a bit further afield than I normally come. But um, I slung my bike on the train, I thought I'd come down and give it a go. Um, up on the, um, this is a day ticket stretch based, um, I can fish it as part of my Riverly Anglers Association ticket. Um, this is like a can can canalised section, although this is subject to the closed season, um, when it's obviously enforced, we're in high summer now, so it's not really a thing. But this little stretch here, um, oh, I can just see a couple of little, I think there might be little chub or dace just under the surface. It's a shallow stretch here, but... Um, there's good flow at both ends especially when they open the bottom lock and so you do get a lot of movement of water so you do get fishing here as well um, and there's lots of boats and features to fish so fingers crossed I can get a few I'm, I'm lure fishing I'm going to fish some I'm going to fish some real micro stuff to be honest um, just to see what I can get and then we'll see see how it's looking whether um, whether I you know start jigging for anything a bit bigger we'll see but I want to fish some fish some micros to start with um, and we'll see see how we get on It's a better one there guys, that was just vertically jigged, just right in front of me, they're absolutely cracking fish, that is lovely. Hey, we're in. That's a lovely perch, very happy with that. Fin up for the camera, absolutely perfect. Just I've changed, I've put a little trace on and a braid and put a proper spinner on just because I've seen a couple of fish leaping out and I thought they were being chased by a pike. So I wanted to sort of be safe rather than sorry, but yeah, absolutely cracking. Oh, oh yeah. A perch. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Lovely little thing. Is it a little one or a uh, yeah, pretty little. I mean they don't they don't get very big, but yeah. um yeah, it's that is a small one. The river's fairly clean if there is. It is fantastic, yeah. It's, it's as good as I've seen it in years. Absolutely, I've seen some fantastic fish today swimming around that really gives me good hope, yeah. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Literally almost as soon as it hit the water. Feels like quite a nice perch as well. Look at that. Oh. Back he goes. Yes. There you go, guys. First ever perch on a lure that I've caught out of a moving water. This is just um, one of the one of the proper stretches of the old River Lee. Absolutely cracking. <laughs> what a beautiful perch there guys absolutely lovely best perch i've had in ages and one of the best perch i've had on a lure in a very long time that was just at my feet i felt and grab it a couple of times i thought it was a snag absolutely brilliant Back he 
years. I'll just took you through the gear I'm using guys. If you were um, if you're used to my lure fishing videos, you might have noticed that I'm not using the um, Wixom rod. I uh, snapped that, I caught a lure in a tree and um, I was in a bit of a irritable mood and I sort of started pulling at it and I ended up snapping it in two places beyond repair. So this is a, a quick replacement for it because I wanted something that was small. This is actually a two piece, not a telescopic, but it's, it's only five and a half foot. So it's still small enough to go on the side of my backpack. It's a Fladden um, Vantage Carbon Ultralight. It's one, uh, one to five grams. So it's a very, very light. Um, and it's the usual reel, me Shimano AX, two and a half thousand reel. Um, that particular spinner is, this is like a, I don't even know what this is. I've had this for absolutely donkey's years. It's just like a little, um, just a little black, painted spinner really with red dots like I suppose it could represent some sort of trout but um, yeah yeah and it, yeah it's just good fun to be out, out lure fishing I've, it's just I think it's about 10 pound braids bright yellow so you can sort of see any twitches and just down to a, um, a wire trace because um, I know there are a lot of pike around here and that's that's really it really so yeah so it seems to be a nice little whippy rod the real seat um, is quite nice is the whole handle twist which I think is quite nice it's got a, got a hook keeper on it um, it's actually feels a little bit stiffer than the wicks so even though that was two to ten grams so this is one to five so um yeah i'm getting used to it and, and it's working for me so it's a, it's a good replacement yes Another one there guys, really really good stamp of fish tonight, absolutely fantastic, I'm really really pleased I come out here, absolutely brilliant. Oh, back he goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> glad that came off actually, that was a little pike. <laughs> Bit of a high bank here. Another lovely cracking perch there, absolutely brilliant stamper fish, really, really happy with that. Well, it's got like a little worm thing on its tail, oh, I'll take that off. Well, that was an unexpected bit of fun, guys. Hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the weir. Um, bit of a serendipitous evening, to be honest. I'd originally planned to go after little chub with spinners um, on the River Ival up in Bedfordshire, but um, again, that's a train where I'm staying at the moment. And But the trains are all messed up. There's some problem with the line going north, but I could get the... Um, the Moorgate train that stopped at Hartford North so that's what I decided to do and the last few times I've struggled out here but admittedly it was sort of winter time and I hadn't I hadn't really caught but um, obviously it's nice and warm today so the fish are, fish are moving around and easier to find um, yeah and really re that's the best stamp of lure caught perch I've had in absolutely ages I mean probably going back like 18 months sort of when the budget angler was still new um, yeah, I can't, especially especially on the Lee. I mean, I've had some um, on the um, on the Brawl, some pretty decent ones, but even that was over, well over a year ago. Um, so yeah, really, really, really pleased with that. Um, and also that the last couple of fish, I wouldn't have had had the trains at my train home been cancelled. So um, there must be more problems with the lines, but that means I'm getting a later train. But that meant I had another half an hour to fish, and I, you know, it's not even dark yet. So absolutely fine. I thought I just. You know, I just want to try and get home at a reasonable time. I want to get get the footage downloaded onto the computer and, and start editing a video from a previous session. Um, no rest for the wicked. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely brilliant. So I've had a really, really good evening. Um, really, really nice to get back on the lay. And 
when I move, I probably won't be able to get down here. Well, I won't be. I mean, it'll be oh, there'll be no direct train to any of the Hartford stations from where I'm living. So, um, and it's a, it'll be a long way to come down from Bedfordshire to to Hartford. So, um, I'm going to try and get out a bit more and make the most of it uh, this summer. Although every time I say I want to do something like that, it never happens. But you know, life always tends to overtake you. Anyway, I've rambled on. We're nearly at two minutes of my outro, and I always try and you know not let them go that long so uh thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed that as much as i've enjoyed making it i've had a brilliant evening um if you could hit that thumbs up if you like the video i'd be much obliged please drop me a sub please share my um videos on social media and talking to social media um i've got the budget angler page on facebook i've got the budget angler community on facebook and the london angling community on facebook so come and check them out um, they're groups that i run they're really really friendly um really nice groups and um and you'll get loads of hints and tips and come and share your successes and share your failures as well it, it is a really good they are really really good groups so um yeah that bit that'd be you know if you fancy that anyway i've rambled on enough so thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys fish on